Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a vlog. I don't have a craft for you I, like I usually do on a Monday. Uh, please forgive me. Uh, I've been taking care of some family needs so um, my days are kind of off and I think they're going to be off for probably throughout July, maybe the beginning of August. Things are going to be a little bit off. I'll try to do uh, videos for you anyhow, but uh, today there's no craft. I'm going to see if I can do one for the uh, my Thursday Friday video. So for now, what I'm doing is I'm doing some meal prepping. Now, this is the very first time that I ever try meal prepping, uh, like, you know, making meals for, you know, like a number of days, and I'm going to try for five days. That's what I've been doing today. <clears throat> I actually uh, used up most of my day running errands, going to buy groceries and things like that because I had not been home. So I had to get all those things first and take care of some things for my parents. And uh, on that note, I have an update. My parents are home. Uh, for those of you who did not know, uh, you're watching this for the first time. I had taken my parents to San Antonio. My father needed a procedure done on a heart valves, uh, but unfortunately because he was very swollen, he has a leak in one of his valves, he's got a lot of fluid that is being retained in his body, uh, he couldn't have the procedure done right away because they wanted to make sure that they got rid of that. Not only that, but they have like a backload of patients already in line that were there before him and he was not considered an emergency, thank God that it was not an emergency. Uh, they were able to stabilize him. He did have his low, low blood sugar. His blood pressure was down. Uh, my father was very swollen. He couldn't walk. He would try to walk and he would be out of breath right away. All because of this extra weight of liquid in his body. He had about 30 pounds on him. So they gave him some medications. They treated him. Uh, they were able to get a lot of that liquid out, uh, have him, you know, take do his thing to get rid of that and then uh, he gained a little bit of it back but then they tried another medication to to get that liquid out they needed to get all of that out and stabilize his blood pressure and all of these things before they can do any kind of an operation on him because this is his heart that we're talking about and it could be you know you know something's you know serious but I don't want to make everything so you know dire and dark okay so i, I want to still be upbeat for you guys i don't want to make this a depressing video i think i kind of made one when i first told you all about it and i was a little bit sad a little bit stressed out um but a lot of that stress is gone because uh they were there for 16 days in san antonio by the way i just we went on friday early morning again we I, I've been going back and forth. I even went with my brother last Sunday. I took him to go see my parents. We went for the day, we came right back. And then um, my husband and I went Saturday early morning. We went to go see them and um, because my mom needed you know, her clothes washed, things like that, which she ended up deciding that, no, she's just gonna wash them by hand. So she took care of that, so we didn't, we ended up not doing that. But she needed some other things. My dad needed some other things because we didn't know how much longer he was going to be there. Okay, but that Saturday afternoon, the doctor, we spoke to him. We were there in the, we were in the waiting, in the, in the room with him, not in the waiting room, but we were in the room with my father, my husband, myself, and of course my mom's been there the whole time. And the doctor came in and we were finally able to, you know, ask some things that, you know, my mom would get answers, but then she couldn't retain the information. And that's what she would tell us. She didn't really tell us everything. So we had some questions. So my husband and I, you know, we were able to ask those questions and we got some answers. And what we found out on that day was that he was giving him another medicine and he wanted to make sure that this medicine, that he was off of IV everything. They took off of that off of him and they wanted to see if this medicine would help him rid that liquid out of his body like he wasn't going to retain anymore if they saw that it worked for a couple of days then they felt that he could leave on monday which would have been today but thankfully yesterday he saw them and we were still there we were going to be leaving san antonio my husband and i said let's go let's go take my mom some you know a meal from somewhere else besides the cafeteria let's take her that and some other things she needed like i said that's why we went to take him some things and uh, so we got all those things we went us we went up there on sunday we went about I don't know, noonish, about lunchtime around there. We were about there, about 12 something. And right before we were arriving there, my mom calls me. She says, Guess what? The doctor came in and he said that he can leave. Okay, so we had talked to the doctor on Saturday. This was on Sunday. And he said that he can go ahead and leave today. And we're like, Oh, well, we were just on our way to the hospital. And she says, Well, take your time because you know they always take forever to do all these things. And I go, Okay, well, we're going to go have lunch and kill some time and then we'll go up there. But we ended up going ahead and 
because I did have that plate of food for my mom. I said, let me take this plate of food to my mom. So we went up there and we saw him, gave him the food, gave my mom the food and the other things. And we said, well, mom, if you're leaving today, let me go ahead and grab all of your things. And my mom had already packed up everything. So we grabbed all of her bags and we went and put them in the car. And my husband and I went down to eat in the cafeteria. We were gonna go eat somewhere, but my husband says, why don't we just hang around the hospital? And I said, well, we could be here three hours. And he said, let's just wait. And I was a little bit like, I don't wanna do that, but I, you know, whatever, we did. But it didn't take three hours, you guys. Uh, well, no, actually it did. It just, it just doesn't seem that way. Well, we had, we ate in the cafeteria, but then we decided to just go ahead and just wait up there in the room with him because nobody was telling us that we, three of us couldn't be in there because my mom was already in there and it can only be two visitors and my mom would be considered one so and my husband and I went up there no one said anything to us and uh, you know we were we wore our masks through the whole hospital we didn't you know uh, break any rules not until we were in the room that we were more relaxed we could do whatever we wanted they were okay with that so uh, all I wanted to know is like are they actually working on the paperwork to release them so when the nurse came in, we got answers. She said, yes, all of that's getting worked on. Doctors are doing their part, we're doing our part. And not only that, but they're also, we're gonna, they're gonna send him home with, and they're gonna have a prescription for him. And they needed to also uh, schedule him for an appointment to come back to actually have the procedure. But then there would be like a, a, a um, what do you call it? A, you know, when the doctor wants to see you after you've been in the hospital for some, and we'll see like a week later. So, uh, what do you call that? A follow-up. Okay. So that kind of a, that's on the 27th. And then they're also going to schedule him for the uh, surgery. So we're waiting on that appointment to see when that's going to happen. Uh, so we also have his, uh, like what he can eat, what he can't eat, which is kind of basically the way it was before, but my dad was being a very bad boy and he wasn't following that. So I said, you know what? I am going to be making you some meals, some meal. you want lunch or you want dinner? Both. We're gonna try this out, we're gonna do dinner. She said dinner. Okay, because you know, they could do lunch. She didn't feel like she was lazy, but she said, oh, we were lazy by the time dinner comes around. So I said, okay, you know what? Whatever I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make for my husband and myself. I eat keto, so all the food that I'm gonna make you is gonna be perfect for him because basically, that was his diet plan, but he had a little bit extra things that he could have. Like he could have breads and tortillas and he can have rice. Uh, even potato was on there, which are things that I can't have. But I'm gonna substitute all of those things for the things that I can, I can eat. So I want them to uh, try this out. So I'm gonna make five meals. And I'm trying to hurry because it's already 4.13 in the afternoon and my parents eat like right about five o'clock. So I've already got a, a ton of chicken cooked up. So I said, I'm gonna cook this chicken I made my keto refried beans, which are made with eggplant. That's made with chorizo, it has some bacon, it's got mushrooms, uh, onions. I will link the video for that recipe in the description box below so you know how, how that's made. So I've got that right here, okay? I got some keto uh, refried beans. I'm gonna make some cauliflower rice and I'm gonna make it like a Spanish style. And I've got some chickens here, some chickens. I've got some chicken breasts that I'm cutting up right here. I've got. Some more chicken breast cooking in the oven and I've got a little bit more here that I need to cook. Those are gonna be for other meals. Okay, so I'm cooking all this chicken for, uh, I believe, three different meals. And I've got a very small roast in the Instapot. Now this is the, only, the second time that I actually use the Instapot. I don't know if I, if I remember how to use it because uh, it's been a while since I used it. So this is the second time that I use it. I hope I, I'm doing it right. So that's cooking in there. I've got some little carrots. I've got celery in there, and instead of potato, which you could do potato, I'm doing um, the chayote squash. Uh, this past week, I did a shrimp uh, recipe. I think it was, uh, what was it, a shrimp and sausage boil. So instead of using potatoes, I used the chayote squash. So if you wanna look at that and see what, what kind of squash I use, just look it up, C-H-A-Y-O-T-E, like coyote, but with an H. Okay, so that's what's in there, so I can make that. Now, let me see, I have a little thing here written down of what the meals are gonna be. So I have five meals planned. My first meal, that's gonna be for tonight for sure, is a chicken breast fajitas with onion and bell peppers, cauliflower rice with a Mexican seasoning, so I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, the usual things, but I'm gonna put very little salt. Um, I'm gonna actually add some onion powder and some cumin and some lime, so I can make it like a lime, um, uh, cauliflower. I wish I had remembered to get cilantro because that would have been perfect addition. So that's going to have that plus the keto refried beans. Meal number two, which 
doesn't mean they're gonna eat that Tuesday. This is just what I wrote down. This meal, the fajitas, is gonna be for Monday. That's meal number one. I'm just gonna say meal two, three, and four, but those can be, you know, depends on when they eat them. Okay, so meal number two is gonna be, I'm gonna make a taco meat, so I have some beef. Make a taco meat, so I'm just gonna season it with my own seasonings. I don't use little prepackaged things because they have a lot of salt in them. Then usually that's the first ingredient. I love it, they're great, use them if you want, but I'm gonna do my own little thing. And then I'm gonna put a cauliflower again. I'm gonna make it like the, like the Mexican rice with more of the refried beans, and I'm actually gonna make some zucchini as well, okay? Uh, like I said, this is, doesn't have to get eaten tomorrow. It can get eaten Wednesday, it can get eaten Thursday or Friday. Okay, meal number three is gonna be the roast with the carrots, chayote, celery. I'm gonna make some green beans on the side, and then I've got a couscous and veggie Next thing, this is just this right here. It's actually couscous and quinoa. So I'm gonna have them, because I want them to try that. And then meal number four is gonna be a chicken with a creamy Parmesan on a spaghetti squash. And I'm gonna make some broccoli on, this, huh, on the side for that. And then meal number five is gonna be a chicken with spaghetti squash fideo. I put video on there, I don't know why, but it's fideo, which is a, like a vermicelli. But instead of using that, I'm gonna use spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna cut it up small. And you know, it's tomatoes and onions and some Mexican seasoning because that's the kind of thing that they like. And I'm probably gonna put some of the uh, Mexican squash in it. So it'll be like a calabacita con pollo y fideo, which is um, or a, a chicken with um, a squash and the vermicelli. So that's basically what that's gonna be. Okay, so I wanna complete this first meal so I can go ahead and take it to them. And then the other two, I'm gonna complete them um, I'm also, this is going to be enough for my husband and myself as well. Everything that I'm making is going to be for four servings. Oh, let me show you. <clears throat> so I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased these little meal uh, prep uh, containers. It was two for a dollar, and they have like the little, um, you know, the little separation here for uh, something different. So what I want to do is I want to put the rice and the chicken on top, and then the beans right on the side here and then uh, or you know my keto beans and then of course they have the lid I got these and I got five packages so I can have ten of them because uh, I'm only packaging this for them and, and here because that way when they get it uh, these are microwavable by the way this is dishwasher microwave safe so when they get these um, you know one for my mom one for my dad so I've got ten for five meals for five days, I should say. My husband's in mine, I'm not gonna put them in here. I'm actually gonna put them in some other containers and then I can just put it together and heat it up as, I, as we eat it, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna be trying this. I'm somebody that doesn't like leftovers, you guys, but and to me, this is kind of a leftover because it's some food that's been in the fridge, but I'm gonna try it out. That's why I just said, okay, five days, we're gonna try this, see if it works out and we'll continue doing this. I also got some smaller uh, little containers so it's these right here and these are also dishwasher microwave safe and they got like a little vent thing here and I got two it was two for a dollar so I just got one packet of these because I thought that the chicken with the squash and the the spaghetti squash and the uh, what is it what did I say it was gonna be I'm gonna use spaghetti squash and I'm gonna use the tuma squash it's gonna be two squashes but I want to make it like a fideo con calabacita and you know pollo which is chicken all right, so that's what's gonna go in here. So it's gonna have like a little bit of broth liquid in there. So I'm gonna put these in here for like just one, like a one a light meal, but it's a really a kind of a, a big serving and my parents don't eat a lot. So I'm not gonna fill these up to the brim. They're just gonna be just enough for them to eat. Okay, forgive me. I also bought these, and this was a package of 10, and each of these has a little lid on them. And I thought these, I thought these were great, so if I ever do a salad and I need to put a dressing, or if I wanna package a little salsa, which I have here, I bought a fresh uh, cilantro salsa from Sam's right here. So I put a little bit of that in here for their meal tonight. And so what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do actually, I'm actually gonna go to the Dollar Tree and buy another set of five, which I'll have 10 so that when I do the next week, I can prepare the food, package them up, take it over there, and then pick up these. My mom will be washing them and, and collecting them so for me to pick them up so that I can use them for the next. That way, you know, each time I take them a meal, I pick up the, the other empties, then I'll fill that up the next week, take that full, pick up the other empties over there if you kind of get that. So I need, I need to have that little system going. Otherwise, I'll have to, let me go pick up the, the things 
come back and make the meals take you know what I mean it's gonna save me a little bit of a trip that way any other trip that I have to do is gonna have to be for something important okay so I'm just gonna cut up the rest of this chicken and get this tonight's meal going and I'm talking really fast forgive me all right so I need to refry the keto beans which they were cooked in the pan so they got a little bit fried with some uh, avocado oil so I'm gonna add some more avocado oil to my pan I'll have like I said I'm gonna put the recipe in there so I'm not gonna tell you all the details but I am gonna refry them I have them in here pour them in my pan of course I gotta turn that on by the way I have more chicken in the oven that I'm cooking for other recipes I also wanted to show you that I have a spaghetti squash and you know they were already sliced up and I already baked them these are ready to use a fork and pull them off so that I have these little strands all right so this is going to be for two different meals <laughs> all right so I'll put this aside okay so as soon as I get this uh, one meal ready and put it in the little container I'll show you how that looks and then um, I'm going to go deliver it and I'll be back and I'll finish up the rest and I'll show you once it's done because like I said this is not really a tutorial on how to make any of this I just wanted to show you what I'm doing what I'm up to I'm feeling good I have a lot of energy right now even though I, I think um, it's more of like an adrenaline kind of a thing and I'm probably gonna crash hard so let me get this done and I'll be back all right so I've already packaged their dinner and this is what it looks like it's got the keto refried beans here the cauliflower rice with some of the chicken with the bell peppers and onions in there it's all nice and sauteed together and of course their little their little bowl their little packages here of cilantro fresh cilantro salsa so now I'm just gonna cover these up so uh, I think I'm putting two lids on this one. Oh yeah. Okay, just one lid. Cover that up. Make sure it's nice and sealed. Okay, so this is hot and ready to go. So I'm gonna go deliver these right now. And then the other meals I will deliver them in the morning. Of course they will have cooled off, they will have been in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, but like I said, these little uh, containers say they are, and I say the little <laughs> labels. They are microwave, freezer, and top rack dishwasher safe. That's what they say on them. And then the other ones that I, the other ones that I bought, the little ones with the little orange lids, those also say the same thing. So you want to make sure you get some that say that. Okay. So this is ready to go to my parents, and I'll be back to finish the rest, and I'll just show you what it looks like once I'm, you know, putting it in containers. <laughs> All right, everyone. I have completed an additional four meals aside from the chicken fajitas that I made earlier with the uh, cauliflower rice. I had a little bit of lime into it and then I added my keto refried beans to that. I already took that over to my parents like I had said earlier. Um, so they probably already ate it. I asked them to, as, as they get these meals, to keep track of what they like and what they didn't like or what their favorites were or if there's anything else that they would rather me do. So we can kind of have an idea what to, what I need to create for the following weeks anyway so I did change it up a little bit on some of these things uh, I did make the roast I have it right here yummy roast with the chayote squash instead of potatoes carrots and it has some celery in there that was that I did in the instapot I added some couscous and quinoa that was already a little package but I, um, I added that in there and then I made some uh, fresh French green beans and some let me grab a little sweet potato fry uh, there's two meals right there with that. And then I made my calabacita con pollo, which is chicken with a Mexican squash. It's got some onions and tomato and then the keto beans again in here. And I've actually made a label for this already. So I'll put the lids on that one. Uh, it's pretty like 7 p.m. after 7 p.m. now. Um, I started like about uh, 3.30, 3 o'clock around there. Uh, so it's taken me about four hours to do all this. Now if I started earlier in the day, Oh, and I've already been resting right now. I haven't even had my dinner because right here. My husband already had some. He liked it. So that was a good thing. Okay, so that's what in those boxes. This is the one that I did change because I was going to make like a taco meat. But I decided to make little beef meatballs instead with a little bit of carrots. I just, I just added some seasonings to the ground beef. And I used my mini cookie dough uh, scoop. And then I just rounded them off. And I put that on some spaghetti squash with some mozzarella cheese on it and some little fresh green onions chopped up on top. And here is, um, this is Brussels sprouts, spinach. And then I had a, a jar that had was halfway because I had used the artichokes 
on something else. So I decided to use those artichokes with the liquid that they had. And I made that, and that is delicious, by the way. So I did make that. And then over here, I made a broccoli, and I added a little bit of cheese to it. And then in here is also the spaghetti squash, but this time with a Parmesan cream sauce that I made, and some chicken, and then some little uh, grape tomatoes. Now, the Parmesan uh, cream sauce that I make is super easy. Hot pan with some butter. I put about two tablespoons of butter in there. I added some minced garlic. I added about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I love it. And then I added about a cup, maybe a little bit more, maybe a cup and a quarter or so of heavy cream. So I sucked, I melted the butter first, got it really hot with the, threw in the uh, garlic, stirred it around a little bit, added the cream, let that get hot and bubbly, mix it around, and then I added some grated Parmesan into that, stirred it around, took it off the heat, let that just kind of melt on its own, and then I just poured it on. It's It makes thin sauce, it's not very thick, uh, but it's delicious. I, I already tasted it, it's delicious. So that's what's in these meals. So all I'm gonna do is put the lids, and I'm using some masking tape to just mark what it is and put it on top so my parents will be like, oh, okay, that's what I wanna eat today. <laughs> and I had this over here for my husband and I. So I've got the uh, spaghetti squash with the uh, Parmesan sauce and the chicken right here. Look at that, yummy. And all this time, um, this has been cooling off, uh, so it's ready to be put in the fridge. I was uh, washing a ton of dishes. And this one also has spaghetti squash, but it's with the meatballs and uh, mozzarella cheese on this one. Look at how delicious that looks. That's gonna be so good. And then I've got the calabacita con pollo, which is a chicken and the Mexican squash. And I've got what was left of the stew meat, and I put the little juices in there. I was using this uh, broth from the stew uh, to flavor, what did I use it for? Oh, I used it on the, uh, spinach here and I used it in one of the spaghetti uh, squashes I think the one with the meatballs yes I use some of that broth to flavor that and I also use it in, in this uh, calabacita con pollo because usually I use a chicken uh, broth for that and I didn't have that because um, I really don't I don't think I can really make a chicken broth with chicken breast because there's no meat no skin or I mean no bones no <laughs> no skin it's just meat so it's not it doesn't give you you know much flavor into a broth so I ended up using some of the beef broth to flavor it and it is delicious and then over here I have the, uh, the spinach that I made with the uh, Brussels sprouts and a little bit of the uh, artichokes. Uh, the sweet potato fries is my husband's fave kind of thing, so I'll, that's a little bit for him. And then broccoli and cheese and a little bit of the green beans that were left over. And then I also have the uh, keto refried beans I had some left over for us. So I'll be using these meals for the next four days uh we might use them for lunch i don't know maybe so that's it everyone that was my meal prep i know that you didn't watch me do much of this it was pretty much just me talking about my you know updating on my on my dad so thank you all again very much for your thoughts and your prayers and please continue them uh you know he's still got a ways to go but right now he's doing great as a matter of fact uh he was off in the stores he shouldn't have been doing that but he wanted to go somewhere and walk around so that's okay uh but um uh, i'll I'll find out tomorrow if he enjoyed the meal that I took him to for tonight and then they'll see all of this and I'm sure they'll they'll think it looks delicious because I mean I do but <laughs> if anything I'll we'll eat, we'll eat this all right so I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up and let me know if you want to see me actually a little more detail preparing these things um, uh, this is the first time I do it. I was very unorganized uh, doing it, so maybe the next time I can be a little more organized. But that's it, everyone. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, and then hit the little notification bell that'll pop up after that. Make sure you choose all so that you can get notifi notifications of all the videos that I upload. Do that for everybody that you are subscribed to so that you get notified of all our videos. Also, leave a kind comment below. Let me know what you thought of this. Like I said, tell me what if you think this is a good idea for a future video. And um, that's it, everyone. Have a super rest of your week. And as always, enjoy.